evening to you wherever you are. I do hope that you can join me in appreciating this truly beautiful evening. A night that is absolutely ideal for a game of football. The scenes here really are something. A beautiful picture under the floodlights. Traffic and transport round here, not the kindest. But regardless of that, the fans have found a way of getting here. There is a sense of theatre and the decibel levels are rising. Little question that this is one of the most striking structures in all of sport, the Allianz Arena. And we rise now for the Spanish national anthem. Well, they have thrown down the gauntlet with that anthem. Now to match it. It is a true heavyweight clash. Well, under normal circumstances, this is a massive matchup, and I'm not totally in agreement with the view that friendlies tend to take the edge away. In my experience, if the opposition go at it full tilt, then you have to reciprocate. We'd like to see excitement and be entertained, but if it does go down the serious route, there'll still be lots to enjoy. That's got things on the way. So, Jim, tell me this, who are you looking for in particular here? Well, the dynamic Carval is someone I like looking out for because he just has a, a lovely energy to, to what he does. Always adventurous. He'll be making those runs continually throughout the game and still looking to get back in position. And when he gets in a crossing position, believe me, he can deliver. I wonder whether that has anything to do with you being a defender once upon a time, Jim. Laporte cuts out the pass. That has been cut short. Sure. And it's played forward. Oh, that's nice. Sure. Henderson gets into some space. Shaw to live, climbs up big! Good delivery, but no joy. Look, the defending wasn't too clever on that last chance. The cross had to be denied. Spain starting the game with good energy, looking to take control of proceedings if they can. Balder. England are enjoying the lion's share of possession, but nothing yet to show for it. He's in a good position here. Williams! Goal, Spain! And it's Spain who take the lead. That is glorious, as if he picked it up and put it there himself. Well, the ball flight may be unpredictable, but the predictable part was the technique. It screamed goal all the way.
Spain draw first blood here. Yeah, this is also a chance to see what happens to their level of concentration from here. And that was very necessary. And it's Shaw. Great run on the overlap here. Excellent challenge there, uncompromising. Some terrific running on the ball there. Those efforts are not going unappreciated. Carvajal. Spain just doing what they're good at. Possession-based football. It's lovely. Nice to watch. Yeah, it's all about passing in little intricate triangles, trying to force a, a few of their opponents out of position and, and then exploit the space. Danny Olmo. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Into the channel. Oh, well played, well played. Yet another to add to football's endless list of could-haves and should-haves. England clearly should have gone for the easier pass. Now they'll have to quickly regroup. Saka. Danny Olmo gets his pass away. Gets away from his opponents. That wasn't the greatest of balls. Saka. Balder. And the referee brings the first half to a close. Steady, solid, and for now, where they want to be. Just one goal, and they have it. Good effort from both sides, but at half-time, it is 1-0. Well, they definitely won't be happy with that half. They seem to lack a bit of desire, especially going forward. It wouldn't surprise me to see a change or two. Here's the start of the second half. England don't need to press the panic button just yet. They may have to tweak their, their setup first if they don't grab an early goal in the second half. They can't hold back though. Sterling. The pressing's intense and it's paid off. Boulder. Carvajal and Laporte Carvajal and it's Laporte played out to the left flank well that tackle was certainly sturdy Pablo Sarabia and Danny Olmo Llorente for Ferran Torres England still trailing by one and looking here to take it up a notch after the break. Aimed in towards the centre. Well, not the worst attempt. A little technical tweak should help the quality. And Kyle Walker. And it's Kane. Carvajal has created one goal already. Move forward and quickly so. Ferran Torres. Looking for options for movement. That is lovely. Cross from Ferran Torres. A well played. Kyle Walker. 
Sterling looks to get on the end of this. Greenish. So, Jim, what are you thinking? Well, the time has arrived to start taking risks. They may well be happy just to level this. Greenish. And it's Walker. Played over towards the opposite flank. Into the last quarter of an hour. Carvajal, he's got a side of goal! And that could come back to haunt them. Grealish is looking pretty upset with himself. It should have been a leveller. Dani Olmo. Pablo Sarabia. And it's Pablo Sarabia. Passes short and sharp. That's good play. Oh, it's come loose. Here comes another cross. Massive leap! Oh, and that should have been two. Oh, and a real chance to pile on the pressure, and he'll be desperate to get another. Well, good evening to you, and welcome on this most perfect evening. For England are making a change now. Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. Rice moves wide and looking to get onto this. Nice control. I think we're about to see a frenetic finish. Uh, no half measures from here. Now it's Morata. And here's Morata. Look at the space here. Dani Olmo. Laid back in. And that is that.